seems we might be live. Well, will you look at that? I think we actually are. Let me just make sure the sound is what we expect. Yeah, it may be a little soft, but I didn't think that. It looks pretty loud here, but I think it's depending on. Yeah, I just think my laptop's sound is not very really loud. All right. Let me just make sure I can see the chat. Let's pop out the chat here. Let's make sure it's nothing big. All right. Cool. I think we can see everything now. Hey, what's up? So nice to have you here, my friend. Let me also just make sure to view the whole chat and not just the top. Hey, seems like we're gonna have a little fun today. And it just the uh, the new laptop. Uh, it's not it's not new. Uh, it's actually from the unboxing video. It's just I view the live stream on my laptop. It's almost like a second screen, but I do the stream on my desktop because it's just easier. Uh, currently, I don't really feel that much like coding today. Uh, we might do a little bit of coding. I just don't really feel too much. And maybe a little bit of debugging, you know. I might go a little bit over that bug tracker and see if I can fix that issue. But yeah, I don't know if I'm too into coding today. I do feel like doing a little bit, though. It just depends. Well, no, let, let's start with that. And we'll see where we go from there. Also, I wonder if that that music player issue was because... Uh, let me just quickly test here. No, it wasn't there. I was hoping that issue would be because of something other than uh, my thing here. I hope it was just an update issue, but it wasn't, it seems. Man, that sucks. Yeah, this is the Num project. I, I want to fix it, but I actually don't know what the issue is. It's, uh, yeah, I have no idea what that issue would be. Is there no fun folder? There we go. Uh, I have no idea. The YTB gen player. Let's just take a look at it. I want to jump over to the bug tracker, to be honest, but I just want to take a look at it. See what potentially could be the issue here. <laughs> yes, blame it on them. <laughs> It's, it's MPV and YTDLP's fault, not mine. Yeah, because I don't know what the issue would be because all I'm using is I'm using the MPV module. That's all I'm using. That's the only thing that can really cause the issues. But I don't understand how that would cause these, these issues to happen. Like, I have no idea how that's supposed to work. I can remember, how do I build this? Is it just... I have no... I can remember. I think it's uh, just made the TLDR of Nimble. I haven't coded Nim in like months, so just give me a second. Nimble, Nimble build, Nimble install, Nimble run. Okay, okay, that works. And yeah, let's play a playlist. Let's play the first one. Uh, let's just go with anything. If, if if something plays, we're doing good. If nothing plays, then yeah, I can't recognize file format. The channel says playlist does not exist, and the your are redirected to YouTube.com homepage. Okay, let's take a look at what what exactly it's throwing up here. So, if we take a look at cat inside of I don't know, uh, if we be inside of home. Slash dot conf, I think, config, and then yt, yes, and then the playlist.json. Let's take a look. Where does this take me? Why am I getting issues with it? Yeah, it's, it's right here. What are you talking about? It's right here. But I don't understand how people master programming languages 
that are not popular. For example, here you're coding excellently in NIM, but NIM isn't that popular. Like, where do you get the resources from? Uh, to be honest, I just used the docs for NIM. Uh, because uh, let's just go to NIM, NIM Lang. I don't know where I can remember where the website is. I actually haven't coded NIM in like a long time. So it started with uh, me trying to find tutorials on YouTube, but when I started with it, it was like few and far between. Uh, so then I just went, I think it was to documentation and there's a, uh, this NIM basics tutorial and uh, these two tutorials. I think I followed these, uh, was it in, I did follow this one. Yeah, I followed these two. No, I didn't follow these two either. Uh, which one did I follow? I know I started following this one, but I was for the NIM tutorials itself. Not necessarily me. I can't remember which one I followed. I know I was it this one. It could be or Nim in five minutes, maybe. Um, no, none of these looks like what I used to used to learn. Yeah, but uh, something here I used and I just followed it. It was actually really useful. Uh, I don't know where it's right now though. Uh. Yeah, because it was really nice. But that basically taught me the basics of NIM. And I just used that. It's supposed to be in here, but I have no idea. It looked like this one, but it's not quite. But yeah, I just followed the documentation. Uh, whichever one of these 5,000 links it was. I don't know, NIM by example. I think it was that. Could be NIM or NIM for beginners. Yes, it was NIM by example. I followed this. And uh, I basically just got the basics underhand. And because I already know JavaScript and Python and C++ and all of these other not so cool languages compared to them at least, uh, I, it was easy to pick up and understand. I gotta say C++ though, if it wasn't for C++, I would not be nearly as good in them. C++ really gave me, like it really helped me with uh, pointers and uh, whatever else there is, uh, complex, more complex topics, such as references, uh, like passing in by reference instead of passing in by uh, just normal value. Uh, it's more similar in syntax to Python. Uh, for example, if we go here, you'll see it's uh, yeah, not a really good example. Maybe if statements would be better. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so as you can see, it's uh, more similar to Python in syntax, but it's similar to in uh, it's similar to C++ in uh, features, where in Python they like to hide all of the scary stuff. So they remove pointers. I think they remove macros, and uh, they removed a bunch of things to make Python simpler and uh, less scary for the newcomers, the beginners. Where in Nim, they don't remove that. They keep it there and they make it statically typed. So it's more powerful, it's faster, and you have basically a power of C++, but with the syntax and ease of use as Python. If you're hearing some music in the background, that's just my neighbors. Just ignore that. I just hope I don't get copyright struck, but I think Afrikaans music don't get... Yeah, that's Afrikaans. I don't think that will get copyright striked. All right, but yeah, and then for beginners. Yeah, I also think I followed a couple of these. Not a lot of them, but I found it a little bit difficult to follow along. I don't remember why, but I did find this difficult to follow along with. So I think I maybe made it until like, probably like 12 or 13 and then I jumped over to this. Okay, but I wonder where this isn't playing. Cause it shows up here. Meaning it shows the right place, but why is it telling me that I can't find it? Uh, MPV, let's just copy this. Uh, which, where's copy? There's copy, but why isn't it, why is it not letting me copy it? Fine. I'll copy it myself. Let's try and just play with MPV, and then we can try and add a YouTube DLP flag. See if we get what we expect. Well, there we go. <laughs> There's Germany neighbors. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, they're, the, they're not bad neighbors. I like them. Uh, they're kind. They just really like their music, though. 
and maybe in player. I don't, I don't know why mine is causing the issue, but it works fine with MPV. I do not understand what exactly causes the issue. Uh, maybe, may uh, I don't know. Load file and it takes in the command. Here's the command itself. Then the command has playlist and it gets the playlist, but command is nothing here. And in here, we are pinned. Like, wait, where am I actually setting command? If the length of command is more than zero, then we add a space to it. Okay. Oh, and here we're actually adding to it. And in utils.clean file path, maybe I should just echo out what command is saying. But let's try that. Uh, why, uh, let's just go nimble run one. One. Um, Okay, I can't pass it in by that. Fine, nimble build, which will build it where? Is, is this going to be the build? No, it's building it there, oh, okay. Uh, so build, and then we run that, and we just say one. Oh wait, but I don't think echo works. I think because of the MPV library, wait. Why is it working now? What did I change? It's just working now. What? Uh, every single day. Um, no, not really. Uh, it's only, it used to be every single day, but now it's only once every now and again. I wonder if it's, let me just run it like this, because maybe it's when you're in the, the menu that it throws that error. Yeah, it's in the menu. Okay, so the menu is the problem. Okay, so it's not the instant play playlist that's the issue. Let me just remove that echo from there. It is this one, I think. Okay, so here we have the chosen playlist. We're getting the playlist. Okay. Uh, here we start the command, okay. Then command takes in clean, so it cleans the file path, that's fine, that's normal. Show message command. Oh, so I was actually trying to show the message at some point. Command. Oh, that's why. You, you see that? That's the issue. It's adding an asterisk at the end. That's because of this here. Okay. That's what's doing that. If I remove this then it should be able to play it without an issue. Why is it taking so long? It's scaring me a little bit. Hello? Well, here it's displaying it. I'm not hearing anything. Oh, there, okay, it just took a while. I don't know why it took that long. Like I said, it works. That was the issue. Hmm. Yeah, I probably didn't check if it was, or I probably didn't check properly if it was something that is online or offline. So I just added that and assumed it was going to work, but never tested it. Huh. Okay, uh, does it work if I try and play music that is on my local system. Build to open, I just wanna do, I actually have that. Uh, till this uh, slash music. Music. Yeah, there's three music. Yeah, there's all my, okay, that looked right. Like, let me just maybe cat this file again. Home, Netsu, music, stream music. That looks right. Uh, by the way, is Nim indent based? Yes. I think the, um, it's like Python, but the only difference is I think Nim enforces spaces over tabs. So you're not allowed to use tabs. You're, you're supposed to use spaces. 
uh, which is something I find really, really stupid. But if you're using an IDE like VS Code, it will automatically convert those tabs into spaces or vice versa if you set that in the settings. So it's not that bad, but it is annoying and I think that's a stupid feature. You should be allowed to use tabs or spaces, that shouldn't matter. But yeah, you know, every every perfectly awesome language comes with something stupid. I wonder why I can't find this. I uh, cannot open files slash home net to music, stream music, no such file or directory. But this is a directory though. There, there, there's, there's nothing to do if there's no such file or directory. Uh, which one is this? Play playlist. Okay, why am I not seeing these? It's probably because it maybe never gets there. I have no idea. Let's maybe cut that up. No, but here, this plays the controls. So in theory, it should be showing us the command. Well, four spaces is a tab. So if I press four spaces, it's gonna throw an error. Uh, no, not quite. See, uh, it can be any amount of spaces that would be seen as indentation. So if I go if x and I just do one space, that's perfectly fine. If I press tab, or um, let me just go like this, if I go like this, instead of giving me a tab, it gives me four spaces. The difference is, if you do not convert your tabs into spaces, those two are two different Unicode characters. That is why when you do something like in Python, if we go here and say Python, and we say print I am backslash T cool, you get this. A tab is something completely different. It might look like spaces, but it's actually, uh, it, I think it's a different character in general. So that is kind of what a tab is. It's not the same as a space. Whilst it can be converted to spaces by using an IDE, it is not a space. Yeah, that is, uh, yeah, it's, it's just very confusing. It's something you kind of have to learn the hard way, <laughs> or I had to learn the hard way. Not fun. Like I'm wondering, uh, let me just save that and let's play this. Let's hope this time it displays the things I wanted to display. It doesn't. It displays this. It displays this. So if I remove that, it shouldn't be displaying that, right? No, it still displays that, meaning it's not happening here. Now, where exactly is that happening? Oh, wait, but, oh, my bad. That isn't, this play playlist is only for in the menu. I should really fix up the code. This is confusing. I guess I should put that here. Okay, let's try again. Uh, slash home slash net to slash, okay. L let me just quickly see this. If I open up a new terminal and I go CD and I paste that in there. I'm in the, f what are you talking about? It's right here. I copied and pasted that. What are you talking about? Maybe it's because there's a backslash there. And is there a backslash here? No, no, no. It, ge it generates that backslash. So the backslash isn't my issue. It's, it should probably be there because the terminal cannot just take a space in a path, it will take a, another parameter instead. So you need to use backslash, so that's understandable. Okay, let's quickly go back and let's again add that thing we added. Okay, let's go command and let's add ampersand Uh, slash star. Let's add that and see what happens. Because that will mean read all of the items in the folder. Because if that's the issue, I can easily fix it. No. Cannot open file. Why can't you open the file? It says load file. <laughs> that's the thing you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, I almost cussed. 
I... Like, but I can't understand, why is it causing this issue? It shouldn't have an issue like this. Uh, where did I find the docs for this? Did I save that anywhere? Because I remember finding the docs was a pain in the butt. Yeah, they just search APV docs and hope for the best. No, not MV. MPB, there we go. Reference manual is this one I want. Uh, let's go command line. Yes, okay, we found it. Load file. Uh, for paths, using file colon slash as pseudo protocol is discouraged because it involves stranger owl on escaping rules. Okay, I don't care. Uh, pass must be taken when passing file names in MPV. For example, path starting will be interpreted as, as options. Likewise, if path contains sequence, the string that might be interpreted protocol prefix even. Okay, I, I don't think that matters. Yeah, I don't think any of this matters. Okay, where's the search of down here? Give me the load file like actually there we go. Uh, loads the given file or URL and play it. Technically, this is just a playlist manipulation command which either replaces the playlist or appends an entry to it. Actual file loading happens independently. For example, a load file command replaces. I wonder what will this load list? Loads a given playlist file or URL. What if I use load list? Would that fix the issue? No. Unhandle exception. Error running. Catchable error. Ah, uh, yes. This error is made out of error. I love that. Second argument. Replace, which is the default. Append. Append play. Okay, let's go back here. Uh... Example load file command that replaces the current file. Memory tools before current file is stopped, and okay, I don't really care. But it should work. It worked at some point. Why doesn't it work anymore? That's my question. It used to work, but now it doesn't. Why? Actual file. I don't understand. I do not understand. It literally sees this path. We pass that into MPV. MPV, and let me pass in that path. What's the issue? <laughs> it works out of the box. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. It works out of the box. Why is it not working when I use it in my code? This brings me to one like downside of like MPV. Like the IntelliSense sucks like really bad or not mpv and nim and uh, nim's intellisense is really really bad now that's the one number one thing with this like mpv thing here like i think this was actually coded with maybe c plus plus in mind or something i have no idea but it's really difficult understanding what goes on in here and there's like no documentation whatsoever you just have to kind of work off of this documentation and this documentation is kind of confusing making this documentation for this just as confusing. Like, just please help me. I wonder what am I potentially doing wrong? I do use load file, but that makes sense to use load file with command here. Should I add something else with the command? Okay, so up here it said that what was discouraged? Load file, uh, no, that was somewhere else. Let's actually go down, maybe we found something else. Uh, full path of the current play file, usually this is exactly, okay. Yeah, that's really. Yes, here we go, here we go, like command, load file, file name. That's what I did. That is what is happening. Uh, we are here. 
command, load file, command. So I do not understand what what's the issue. Okay, but here they say it. Let's let's use this. Let's use this. No, but uh, I think that might make it more difficult. Nope. Whoops. Uh, wrong. Wrong button. That might make it more difficult, but I am willing to try. I'm desperate enough. Okay. Now let's try that. Hmm. No. And in a work. Well, why can't it like pick up the directory? Is something wrong with it? Like I don't, I don't understand what's happening here. Why is it giving? Can I actually? I don't think I can go to the definition. No. Uh, I'm think I maybe forked it at some point. Yes, I forked it to publish it. Yes, yes. I remember I forking, forking to publish it. Uh, get hub.com slash weebnetsu. Let's see. And uh, let's just go to repos. MPV. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see source. MPV.nem. Yeah, and then we get like, started. Like, I think it uses like the C. Yeah, it uses like the C library and it just implements it in in them so the documentation doesn't get generated at all it that's very annoying and it makes it very difficult maybe i'm missing like some no i couldn't be missing the development of libraries i don't think that would be a cause and i should have all of these otherwise i wouldn't have run yo why did, why is the chat so quiet <laughs> hey are you are you guys like thinking as hard as I am and just like wrecking your brains on what exactly is happening? Uh, let's see here, load file param string one. Yeah, it should just work with load file. There shouldn't be any sort of like difficulty. It should just work. So why? Why is it like not working? Well, here we run the command, but then we go here. But yeah, that is handled by a different event. This is handled by a different event. So that would not be an issue. I do not understand. I wonder if the error is with this load file. I wonder if it is here specifically. Now, let me just show this command here. Let me go like that. Command 2. Let me see if we get anything from it. Yeah, I don't think it's from that. It might be. It might be, but I don't think it is. Let's maybe go to where this is being called. It's being called here. Okay. It, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Player with instant play playlist. It passes in the context. It passes in the playlists that we have. Right. Wasn't it working? Yeah, it, it works, but it only works when you play from an online source. So it works from YouTube, but for some reason it doesn't work when you pass in a local source. And I can't understand why not. MPV C uh, this is instant play playlist. Should be yeah, we should be an instant play playlist. Uh, let me just see. If not running, set running to false, terminate. Okay. Then let me just go up here. While running, if playing, set wait event, manage key press. Okay. If uh, nothing. Alright, so it won't be this one. We can close that. And this displays the available. Okay, so this if statement will only run when it I need to like, give an input. Then here we go player.instantplayplaylist. Let's maybe go to... No, we're 
the in player, so that wouldn't really matter. Yeah, because we're already in here. So it must be, I think it must be that. It must be this here that's causing the issue. Yeah. So when I give it like this here, it freaks out. But when I give it a URL from YouTube, it's like, cool, I can do that. Truly, this isn't fair, my friend. Why do you have to crush my spirits? Please, Nim, do not fail me like this. Uh, okay, let's go and be in there. Uh, check error. <laughs> the user will not be as happy as this error. Ah, uh, yes. When I still had some sort of humor in me. Here it creates the context. Here it sets the options. I don't know what OSC is. What's OSC? I think I just used that as a default parameter, but what is OSC? Ocean Marine Group, or, or, or OSC Marine Group, Ocean Marine, okay. Uh, OSC Meaning. Office of Special Counsel. I don't think that is what it is. OSC Music Meaning. Open Sound Control. That sounds more... The protocol for networking sound synthesizer. Okay, I don't think it would be that. YTDL. Yes, it uses that. Here we passes in, or here we pass in the path to YTDL P. We don't show a video. We don't take input. We show the terminal. Here we have a shuffle and loop check, and here we have an error check on initialization. I don't know what the error is. <laughs> Because this doesn't make sense. Why is load file failing here? It truly, it does not make any sense at all. It really doesn't. I can't understand why it would be throwing an error at me. Fail to open. Home Netsu music, stream music, slash four forward slash star. No such file or directory. But there is. I can't understand what what do you mean by this? The error you're throwing me is an invalid error. I have proven multiple times that directory does exist. So why are you throwing me this error? I truly, truly despise it when this happens. Load file. It has to be something with this load file here. But I, I don't know what. Is this an error that is out of my control? Because I'm starting to feel like it might be. Is there maybe a character in here? Let's maybe add that again. Uh, YT, or let me just go here. Let's add a playlist again. And let's go to music stream music and pwd that copy this so there's the path uh, enter new name for playlist test to two and boom okay that should work and let's just make sure we did the right thing uh, if you're adding a local playlist the path should look similar to this yes note please do not add any backslash asterisk till the whatever that is whatever that is okay the location root directory on okay that should be perfectly fine. Now let's add a play playlist. Let's do test two. It's taking too long and I think that's gonna work. If it's playing locally, it should be pretty much instant. Okay, let's see here again. No, but I don't understand then. I don't know home Netsu music that this makes sense to me. So I don't understand. How can I not find this? What? 
cd into source numc and let me just go ytbgl paired to let me compile it from it here and see. Maybe it's nimble that's causing the issue. Maybe nimble is the issue and not, and not. Let's hope for the best. Fail to open. Ugh. Well, it was faster at least. I don't know why it is forcing my hand as such. Anyone got any ideas? Because I definitely don't. Uh, let's Google that. MPB load file not loading local file. Let me just go uh, load file. That's one word. Let's see here. Oh, but it's on Windows. Ew. And it's in 2016. Okay, I don't think it's going to fix my issue. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. I don't know, I'm not going to read for all of that. Give me a TL TLDR or something. I would give ideas if my brain was smart enough for this. Ah, don't push yourself down like that, my friend. Like, anyone can do this. You do not have to push yourself down like that. You're smart. You have to believe in yourself. And, okay, I don't know what the issue is. It couldn't, maybe it is an update or something that I missed. I don't know. Maybe it's like a library or something that I should be installing. Uh, MPV library uh, development library Arch Linux. Maybe I need to update that. Wait, but I just did an update like two days. Not even two. I did an update yesterday. So that wouldn't matter either. Hmm. I do not know. Okay. But at least we figured out how to make it run normal music. So at least if I found, find like non-copyrighted music on YouTube, I can play it for that. Yeah, but for right now, if you want backer music, we're going to have to use MPV normally. That sucks. I'm going to keep that there for future reference. I truly... I wonder... And let me just see here. Where are we looking? There we go. Laps. Does the Laps has, have any, like, better way of figuring out what any of the... Uh oh. Oh, wait. Never mind. Uh, extensions. Do you have any num extensions? Please tell me. 90s anime? What? Oh, okay. That was not what I was expecting. Okay. If it had like better like IntelliSense, it might have helped. Uh, isn't there any other library better than MPV? Yes, probably. Do I know any such library? Uh, no. I wish I did. I kind of also don't want to leave MPV because you would not believe how long it took me. Let me just go here. You would not believe how long it took me to get this MPV context, how to get that working. This year took me about two years to figure out. Just, so I kind of don't want to leave MPV because I've been trying to implement it as such since the day I started this project. But I think it might be best if I at some point leave MPV. But will it be able to play things from 
YouTube. That's the issue. Or maybe I could use MPV to play things from YouTube and then use something else, like, I don't know, MPlayer or something to place it from the local system. That, that actually might be a good idea. Hmm. Eh. Too much, too much for my brain. I'm not, I, I can't think that much today. My brain will not be able to hold up. Well, it uses MPV and YTDLP. So in theory, any platform that YTDLP supports can be used with this. So in theory, it can support Pornhub or Twitch or YouTube or whatever else you can think of, because YTDLP supports that. So if you wanted to like listen to girls moaning in the background while you work or something, that would be possible. I'm gonna be quiet now. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, let's see what will be the what will be what will we be doing next? I'm thinking. Hmm, I don't know my brain would be big enough today for this issue. I hope it will. I know, man. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, when I think YTDLP, that is the first one that always pops up in my mind. I have no idea why. It is incredibly scary, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, Vimeo, that could work as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, habits. Oh, please, no. <laughs> ah, gosh. Uh, what were we working on last? I can remember. I think we were trying to fix some sort of bug. But what was that bug we were trying to fix? What What have we been doing? I wonder, is that stream still up? Uh, I'm just going to, like, hide for a second here while I go to YouTube's thingamabob and then I'll bring it back. And then we just go to videos and now I can bring it back. There we go, okay. It is here. Uh, the bug where the cards update and stuff. Yeah, I remember something vaguely. File load thing. Oh, you're. I think you're still on the previous project. Yeah, we had a file load thing issue with Nim. That's true, yeah. But I think now we're good though. Uh, let's see here. I think, was it in this one where we tried to fix it? I think it was. When was this? May 28th. May 20th. I don't know, let's, let's open up both. And let's open up this one. Let me just get a glimpse of what yeah, we were. I think it's... Just so I know. Open this link. Oh, wait. Let's see what happens. Uh, where am I still coding? It could be because I was running this on both browsers. Oh, we have another issue that I did not think of. We do not get the task data anywhere. <laughs> so, uh, my brain is dying. I don't understand. Do you do understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, Stop talking. Just, just get to the point, me. Um, I think I'm getting what we were doing. I think it's coming back to me. Kind of. Uh, here I was watching a video. Oh, why? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
it's because it was updating updating issue but i can't remember the exact issue okay no uh that's not gonna help so i'm in here you working all right hold a tiny bit in it but it's pretty cool Oh yeah, I split the project status from the project. That I remember. Yes, that would make it easier in the long run, but then it broke the API. Okay, it's coming back to me. Okay, I think from here on out, I can just run it and see what happens. All right, let's see here. Seamless updating NPM starters for that edit. All right, let's look at the chat. What was happening? Uh, let's see. Bug records up there and stuff. Hey, it's not the pool. <laughs> the pool was from another point of view, I think. Nico. Isn't that like the, the NIM game dev thing? Nico. Uh, Yes, it's a game framework. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I've read a little bit about it. I want to try it out, and maybe after I finish my Love to the course, uh, with the next crash course that's coming out, uh, maybe then we can definitely take a look at maybe doing the Nim path this time and taking a look at Nico. And there's also another one uh, that I want to do. Uh, GitHub.com/slash/weednet. So yes. There's another one I want to do that also it's not game dev, but in them, but it's more beginner friendly. Like if you have no game dev experience, a language, NIM. I know that would be in stars, not in repos. Language and NIM, there we go. Uh, nope, 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 wait, no. Nico's there, NIM though. Was it this? No, it wasn't that one. Inu, I think it was this one. Yes, it was this one. Basically, you have like this a little world that you can spawn a user into and you can use Nim code to make them move around and to build stuff. It is really, really cool. I should actually um, show you guys it. Just like an example. It's really freaking awesome. I love it. I've been wanting to make a tutorial on it for so long. Windows, Linux. Because especially if like you're, you're just getting into game development, then this could be the thing that teaches you the basics. It's like Scratch, but on an in, in like a whole nother level. Uh, I don't have any porn stuff here, no? No, okay. Just making sure. And let's just extract here. Yep. Okay, close. You can close. And let's go in here. A bin. Yeah, okay, cool. CD downloads E, yes, and then bin. Let's just run that. Couldn't load the PKG. Okay, let me just go. Dot slash bin. E, no. There we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, I love your CSS course. It was super easy. Hey, I'm happy to hear that. That is amazing to know. Yeah, I find the CSS stuff a little bit difficult to make. I click here for short tutorial. Okay, but any any point here, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you can place blocks, but then the, the more important part is, oh, the sensitivity is so high, can I change that? No, I can't, uh, not now at least. Uh, now, the code is the more important part. How do I open up the code again? I remember there was, there was a way, I'm on the code block, but it doesn't allow me to open it up. And then you can like, place more people and you can make them move around. 
I think, oh wait, I think I have to point and then open up the code. Yes, okay, here we go. So then here, you can like make them walk. Uh, let's see. Okay, where's the, here. Let's just take a quick look at the guide. I haven't like worked with this in such a long time. Yes, so here you can see, you can see the speed. Uh, you can, I don't know what drawing is supposed to mean. Okay, none of this is helpful. Where's the actual documentation? Okay, I can remember what the everything does. Oh, yeah, forward. There we go. Forward, like one or something. A forward one. Okay, I don't know. Uh, how do I get this to run again? I can't remember. Not for the life of me. There we go. He went forward once. What did I do? I have no idea how I got that to work. Uh, what's happening? I'm so confused. What What is happening? I kid you not. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, anyways, a little bit buggy. Yeah, yeah, what, what's happening? How do I close it? Oh gosh, my keyboard is completely screwed now. I don't know what to do. Wait, but I can type here, why's my Windows key? What? Okay, I don't know what happened there. But anyways, it's really, really cool. You, you basically have your own 3D world, you put code in it, and it's NIM code, and it works. It's really cool. Something I'm definitely working on to make a tutorial for someday. Just imagine how many new programmers we can bring in if we teach them that. Oh, there are still memory pool Alex that in use at exit. This is JavaScript. Where are you coming on memory pool, my guy? Poor stuff like man as of bro. You're caught <laughs> in 8K, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what is happening? Engine, oh, this is Inu, okay. I thought it was this one. Okay, no, it's running fine. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to Superbase. I forgot. I think Superbase silenced it. It was too cool, it was too based. So they had to Let's sign in. They had to go like Nabra. We're go we're gonna have to turn it off. Oof! I'm just I'm just gonna quickly just make you guys blind for a second. And let me just throw this in here. Wait, why am I not signed in in GitHub itself? Weird. Okay. Editor GitHub. Let's just give that a second to reload. Okay. Now I can bring you guys back. Yeah, where is my eyeball? There we go. Ah, I went out of it. We say sign in this time. Now we choose GitHub and now it should work without any issues. Hello, are you like listening? There we go. Why is everything in light mode? Where's like, there we go. Dark, okay, much better. Uh, all projects, here we go. A bug tracker. Now you just need to unpause it. And in a couple of minutes, we can actually get back to like I know you can like use this locally, but it takes so much resources if you want to use this locally. It sucks. Okay, let's just close that and we wait. I'm just going to close everything here as well. So I can have a clean slate. Uh, what's happening here? Let's just move you back there. What's going on? Yeah, I had no idea what was going on, my friend. It was so confusing. Like, I think there's just a bug with that version of ENU or ENU or however you pronounce it. 
Okay, I think it should be started up now. Let's try and open this up on localhost. Let's give it a second. Okay, here we go. Uh, are we logged in? I think we are. Oh, I didn't start the docker. It's not going to load anything. I caught you this time. This time I won. You won't catch me like that every single time. Docker itself isn't there, of course. Uh, sudo system ctl start docker. We can maybe even enable it, depending on how much resources the start takes. It's at 26 RAM, let's see. What's happening? Why is it taking so long? 27. It went up 1%. Okay. We're going to just enable it. It doesn't matter now. At 28 now. Back, back to 27. Okay. So it's making sure it's not scamming me. Let's try again. And this time when we reload, we shouldn't have that issue. Why is it taking so long? The database is locally stored. It should be fast. Maybe it's because there's a bug. There is a bug in that file. So it could be. Project status container. No, it shouldn't appear here. Network. You got anything for me, friend? Unknown error. Ah, yes. Thank you. That, that explains so much. Unknown error. Perfect. Okay, it seems to be struggling with getting the actual project. So, which one's this? Project, nope. Project, nope. Project, no. Here we go, okay. So it seems to be getting an error here with this get request. Project is gonna find where the owner ID is equal to this user dot under or dot ID. And here we're getting Connection timeout. I did run Docker Compose, right? No, no, I didn't. It caught me again. You know, even after promising this time it won't do that, it still got me. I hate that so much. I can't win. It's an, It's always a loss. Okay, let's see. This time, it seems to be working. Okay, there we go. Cool. Let's put console there. And let's go to IDK. Here should be an error. Probably. Or not. You know, whichever floats your boat, I'm happy if there's no, no errors at all. Status container. What's that? What is a status container? So here's the project status. And it's a component. Okay. And then we have a status card. And status card creator. So the container would be this big thing here. Okay, I should really rename these. I'm getting confused already. E, nice. Welcome back, I guess. Switch the phone. Or like lying in bed. You decide to turn off your laptop or your desktop. In theory, I thought this would cause an error because there's a status here, which is no longer on user project. So statuses can no longer be gotten or getted or whatever gotten from here. Handle status title change. Okay, so this is only an update. Okay, that's why it's not getting an error. It's only once we go uh, here, and I say progress one, where it will throw an error because could not update because it doesn't exist. Yes, okay. Speaking of turning off, uh, I should just check. Uh, I don't think there's any load shooting today, meaning I could still go on a little bit for the rest of today at least. Yeah, it's only again tomorrow. Cool. Uh, it was so nice. We didn't have like any load shooting this week. Or we did have a little bit, but it was like for two or three days straight, no load shooting. 
it's like, wow, is this how it feels to actually have electricity? Man, my country could be actually cool if it, you know, knew what it was doing. All right, so all we got to do here is we just have to update the status itself. Okay, that's really a main concern, or it is, because we we migrated that whole thing. Yeah, so it is kind of a concern. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Here's the updated status. But now, because we split it, we I don't think we need to do any of this anymore. Because we split it, meaning it will be easier, in theory. So here, we only need to go here to status ID, take a look at an update handler. Yeah, so here, put handler, put this update. And uh, let's see. Yeah, all I got to do then is I have to pass in the, or have to basically just make a put request to this endpoint. Bob's your uncle, because it is no longer part of the project, it is going to be so much simpler in the future. Could not find status. Yeah, cool. Like, I think, I think this is the right one. Okay, so here we send a post request to base API URL, which is what exactly? Slash API projects project ID status status ID. Yes, that makes sense. So we send that to that specific status place. We have to update status data. So in this case, we only update the title. We make sure it's a put request. Then we have updated OK. And then here we get statuses. Oh, but then we're just updating the user project. Okay, but we don't need to update the project. We can now update the status. So you can up put a status state here. Uh, project status, if you wanted to. There we go. I wonder if I shouldn't move this upwards. Oh, wait, yeah, here's a project status. So it's already moved upwards. Yeah, okay. Let's follow this one then. So you just need to set the project status as well. Where, what's calling this? Let's see. It's been called here. Okay. Meaning, yeah, and okay. So here we also have an issue because now when we get the statuses, it's not the same anymore. Okay. Uh, use project. I guess we don't even have any status here. Okay, so. So this is for a full project, meaning there will be multiple statuses in here. So uh, user statuses, or not user, but project statuses. And we just go project and we do that. And we go here and we say project status model, but it's an array. Okay, cool. Now that we have that, and that means we can close the issues effect, it seems. Then here we used to get statuses from user project, but that's no longer the case. And okay, this is if we, I want to add a new one. We'll get to that. Oh, we don't care about that. We just need to fix loading and anything related to it. So usually it used to be this, but now it doesn't work like that anymore. So here user project and loading will be false and it will return. Yes, that makes sense. So here we have get data and I will get the actual data we want. So here we need to send two get requests. So get project statuses request, and this will be to projects slash, and now I think we only just need to say status. Where's the API? Uh, status, yeah. Oh, I love Next.js, like this project structure, it's so amazing. It makes my life so much easier. Anyhow, then we go like that. And we just say, boop, if it's not okay, we just say uh, failed request and we do that. Then we go here, response. And we can just make this one project, proj response. And we can have proj statuses response. And I don't know which one it will be a uh, status. So we need to go here, models we will have. Single project statuses, uh, I don't know, what? Get 
Here we have a handler. We don't have a get request. So it wouldn't have worked anyways. We first need to implement the get request. Ah, th that, that one minor change has so many repercussions. It sucks. Come on, my friend. Just make it easy on me. Okay, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste it. And I'm just going to hope I don't have to do a lot. So here we get the project ID. And we make sure it's a valid project ID. Make sure we have a valid user. Project statuses. Status is. And then we go to project status collection dot find. And we want to find all of them. So find any of them that has the project ID that we have. So this one right here. And why are we getting an error? What if I did this? No, that should have worked anyways. This is a string and this, let me guess, is not a string. It is a thing, a object ID. There we go. So I need to convert it to an object ID. How does one do that again? Uh, I could not remember how one does that. It's just new object ID. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay, that's simple enough. Okay, so that should work. It should have the same, I don't think it needs an owner. I don't think we need to get the specific owner. It only needs the one with this project ID. Because if we get a specific owner, then that means if we are two teammates working on the same project, I will only see the cards I created. Not really great. Okay, then we have project statuses. And could not find project statuses. And now we need to create a model and what do we call, what did we call this one? Single project, okay, and here. Project create, project get response. And we can do the same here and just say, project statuses, get response model. Project status model. Okay, should be as simple as just doing that and then pasting it here and then also importing it. Then we have data and we have project statuses, which dot find dot fetch. No. Why are we getting this issue? I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? Let me just make sure I use, I'm using find correctly. I know there's sometimes something else you should be doing. Dot find. This is the one I'm in currently. Dot find dot two array. Oh yeah, I forgot about that dot two array. I know in meteor JS you need to say dot find dot fetch, but here you need to say dot find dot two array. Okay, and then here we have our simple request. Now you forgot to use the and uh, find dot two. Okay, I think I think it was just a bit of lag there, but I think you're right. I think you forgot to use the Pro, pro, is that processor and a find.toArray. Yeah, so the find.toArray, that was, that was correct. Wait, what is that supposed to be? Uh, am, I, am I understanding that correctly? I don't think I'm under a processor CPU logic. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Processor. I forgot to use the processor. If you don't use the processor, it will make your game more laggy. Yes, please give me the search I need to use. That sounds interesting. Okay. 
while we wait on that, okay, so this should mean that all I need to do is just do this, make sure this is a get request, and then just put the get handler here. There we go, Bob's your uncle. Now, that should work. So this can be project status. Says get response, there we go. So then user project becomes that and then set project statuses becomes this. Okay, now that we have that, we no longer need whatever we're passing in here. So that can just be project statuses. Nope, no, 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 project status, statuses. There we go. That should work out of the box, I think. Let's see, I've sent you the link. Okay, the link, is this on Discord? Wait, where have you sent me the link? On the chat. Oh, I didn't see it on the chat. Uh, I'm viewing. Yeah, the live chat, so it should show me any links you send. Community, yeah. I don't see any links. Even if I muted it, I should still see it. Maybe just quickly go to the actual video itself and <laughs> maybe look there. Yeah, because I think this inbuilt one might be censoring stuff for me. Let's see. And we just go live chat on this end. No, I'm not seeing it here. Wait, no, I'm not seeing it here either. Uh, my Discord. I'll quickly send that in the uh, share. Where's the share button invite? And uh, copy. I'll, I'll quickly send that in the chat. Uh, wait, but the chat is on the whole other thing here. Okay, quick, give me a sec and I'll send. I think it's actually in the description. Let me check. Yeah, it's in the description. I'll also copy it and send it in the chat in case. Okay, I can't. For some reason, YouTube is deciding that is the way to go. Let me just, maybe just copy it completely. Just sh long. And there we go. Hey, welcome, welcome. Project not found. Ah, yes, of course. Project not found. I try again. Maybe you're wrong. Maybe there is a project to be found. Project not found. Uh, body has already been consumed. What? What does that mean? <laughs> a body has already been consumed. I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> That sounds amazing. All right, let's see. I still see nothing. Oh wait, is it maybe here? Ah oh, yes, okay, here we go. Ha ha. <laughs> I saw what you did there. I shall quick it anyways. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Great song, though. <laughs> Best song to be rolled by. Yes, unfortunately, my, my Discord has been correctly modified to have 2000 IQ, so it showed. <laughs> no worries. That was very funny though. Yes, I got Rick rolled. <laughs> Project by request.t 
what? 92. Get data, 61. What? Specific? Yeah, show me this. What? What's going on here? There's a 61 in project, project ID. 61, let me get, uh, so it's, this one's the specific one that's causing the issue. So it's something in here, JSON of parse and response. Yes, but the response, oh, I see what the issue is. Let me just plop that in there. Boom, problem solved. If not user project or if not, yeah. Project statuses. Let me just make sure that's actually gonna work. Okay, let's go node and say not like that's false. And not not that's true. That's false. Yeah, it doesn't it shouldn't matter if I do that because it should anyways allow you to do whatever. Project not found. The project is found, I fixed it. Are you doubting my skill? Firefox, uh, but if you have a good processor, it will change some of the code and make it more simple. It will change some of the code and make it more simple. Intense, okay. Do you mean like VS Code will format the code and make it more simple? It's definitely not getting the Oh wait, but I don't think, I think it won't be there anyway. So let's go test. Let's uh, add a status. Let's do a refresh. In case that didn't make it auto refresh. No, it won't work. Okay. Damn, uh, I don't want to fix it. I should just give this whole source code to ChatGBT and tell them to fix it. Leave me out of it. And I'll add new status. Okay, this one should be easy enough because now we already have a status. Or the status data at least. So we just need to pass it in to here. Yes, so we'll send a push request to statuses to add a new one with this ID. No, but we don't need to add an ID anymore. I don't think that's necessary. You want to learn how to time travel. I can sense it. Well, I've been time traveling for years, but you look too inexperienced. Sorry, kiddo. Hold up. This restaurant's dessert has been poisoned, and a baby is crawling to go eat it. Well... A precious life is on the line, and I'll need an assistant to save it, so it's your lucky day. I'll teach you how to time travel. First rule, don't do anything until the clock says it's time. The clock doesn't mess around. So here goes. If you're watching this video on a computer, pressing J or L will warp you 10 seconds backward or forward in time. Oh god, since when did this baby know? Don't do anything I can't get it. Time, I get it. The clock doesn't mess around. So here goes. If you're watching this video on a computer, pressing J or L will warp you 10 seconds backward or forward in time. Oh god, since when did this baby know how to run? Anyway, if you're instead watching on your phone, sorry, this effect isn't going to work. Come back when you have access to a computer. The baby's getting F. close, so we need to act now. <laughs> get I'm going to time freeze the baby, and you will warp forward the cake's age. Three, two, one. Rotten, smelly cake? We saved its life. Oh, the baby wants to drink vodka now. That's no good. The legal age is 21. I think you've learned enough. I'll leave this one up to you. I warp backward. Hopefully this is this crazy song. Perfect. He's 22 and is enjoying the booze. Yikes. Now he's hungover. Let's warp him out of it. It's the fate of a time traveler to witness every youngster die of old age. Second rule. Never become attached to the children you assist. That being said, you've made good progress. But there's one last skill I want to teach you. Overlapping timelines. Buckle up. This is very really creative. Down. Press it again. Excellent job so far. Let's turn it around and press J. Give J another press. Now press it again. Damn, the editing of this should have taken nice one. so much Doing time. Well. I'm gonna get some coffee. Please ignore everything my animatronic clone says, you copycat. Now press it again. Thanks for ignoring the clone. One final command. Press L. It's 
gonna be hard to top that flawless run. Out of hundreds of my students, nobody has performed overlap timelines as well as you just did. Use your newfound powers for good. Never use them for evil. Oh, and one last lesson. Press J every time you see this red dot hit the wall. Repeat that until you reach the beginning. Ready? Go. Never. Gonna be. Give J. You. Up. Press. Never. Gonna. Dis let. You. Down. On. Never. Gonna. Run. Around. So this is gonna take me to the start. Dessert. You. 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 Ah. Want to learn how to time travel. Intense. Intense. Very, very cool. That's actually so creative. Ah, I'm not signing. Damn. That is really creative. Oh my word. I got Rick ruled. Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> you, you, you want to learn. And oh, wait, so wait. It's your lucky day. I'll go eat it. Well, I've been time. You want to learn. Ah, damn, I didn't hear that. <laughs> I was just focused on like what's happening now. <laughs> I didn't really listen to your music. But that was still very, that was very cool. Go back to the end, all right? Go back to the end. Some for evil. Oh, and one last lesson. Press J every time you see this red dot hit the wall. Repeat that until you reach the beginning. Ready? Go. Never. It's gonna be give J. Oh. Up. Press. Never. Gonna. Dis let. You. Down. Never. I'm gonna. Run. Around. And. Dessert. You want to learn. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> that is so amazing. That is so good. That is well done. Really. Yo. Like. Round of applause to this guy. That is really well done. Masterfully. Yes, I'll share it on uh, on Discord. Copy link. I'll share it here inside of links. That is really creative. Intense. <laughs> I, I see your bag on PC. Yes. Phone suck, I know. Damn, that that's really creative. This is that's cool. Very impressed. My word. <laughs> so not only did he basically make you go through the video like it's time traveling, not only did he do that, but he made a rickroll inside of it. That is really amazing. I always respect, truly. All right. <laughs> that is really good. What else do you need? Let me just check. That is that is really nicely done, not gonna lie. I don't think it will need an ID. Will it need an ID? I can't think that it will. Well it needs this. But it shouldn't that be an optional ID. Not? Okay. I would have thought it would need to be an optional ID. Wait, does that mean whenever I create a post request, I always provide that? No, here I don't provide it. There's no ID here, but there would be one required here. Huh? How does that work? Is that for the best, I guess? And the title again. Let's see here, let's put the new title there. 
the project ID can be this one right here. The order index can be uh, project uh, project statuses dot length uh, not function that and this should be new object ID and we do that and now all it needs is that underscore ID let me see. That video was made four years ago. Yeah, that seems like four years ago was epic, it seems. <laughs> okay, but this doesn't make sense. Why why don't I need an ID here then? Or do I? It doesn't say I need. But when I go here, this oh here I actually specify exactly what I need. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. I think I'm seeing the issue. If we go here, boom, then this post request body model. Voice chat. I hope we'll be able to hear you. I can't even see where that voice chat is at the moment. Hello, this is Molly. Hey, how are you? Video. Yeah, that was a great video. Oh uh, yeah, that was made a long time ago. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm not sure if you have this, but uh you want to learn uh, what I can send you a link to across the table. I can really help out a lot. Kiddo, Especially this video is a lot when you're in video game development. Yeah, yeah, definitely share that. Basically, uh, to make a 360 perspective, uh, if you're using a processor viewer, there's just an option that gives you that, and it will put all the code in for you. Oh, that's if neat. You want a 2D if you want a 2D perspective, then instead. You're gonna have to go into settings of the PC and change it to where uh, at 3.6.0, you're gonna wanna change it to 2.0.1.2. This has to be capital, and you gotta make sure that it's always linked to the player. I hear ya. I will send you a video on how to work it out. I gotta go, but I will send you a video how to work it out in a bit, okay? Thanks, that's nice of you. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. Nice. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Explicit, oh my. Yes, I should maybe watch that a little bit later. That that's that's actually very impressive. Ah, welcome then. Glad to see that I'm at least appearing on the home pages here. Uh, what languages do you know? Uh, I primarily work with TypeScript, but I also know a little bit of Nim and uh, Dart and a couple others. Let me just I, I I've stopped trying to keep track of it. GitHub.com that's webnet, so there we go. Uh, yeah, so just nim dart typescript python go. Although I I might remove that. I can't remember when last I've coded go. Lua C plus Kotlin. Oh I love Kotlin. It's actually not too bad. Rust is okay. Not a big fan of it. I'm gonna actually remove that. I haven't coded that in a while. Dalphi is okay. Don't mind that. PHP is actually awesome. If only it was statically typed. And in Ruby. Yeah, not, not my favorite language. I'd say the only language I, hate, I dislike more than Ruby would most likely be Java. But yeah, I haven't coded Java in years. <laughs> I'm actually looking for a back-end developer that works with TypeScript. Ah, I hear you. 
Unfortunately, I am not open for a work opportunity at the moment. But I am glad to hear that you would consider me. Uh, have you tried scripts? No, I have not. But... Well, where's my... There we go. No, I have not. But it is on my wish list. Someday I shall buy it and try it out. Until then, I shall consider. Shall think about it. Yes, yeah, scripts, uh, wish list, I have no idea. Uh, library, wish list, there we go. Uh, let's see, scripts, I think it's here. Yeah, there, scripts arena. It's actually on special now. Hmm. If it goes on special next month, maybe I will. Why are you downloading? Stop downloading. You're going to use all my bandwidth, my friend. Stop. Uh, what are you making? I'm making a, uh, I want to say a Trello clone. Click up or Trello clone. I'm trying to basically design it for, make it from the ground up uh, using Next.js and MongoDB and Superbase. Really nice. Uh, it's a bit confusing now because I, when I first started it, I made a very stupid design choice for one of the models and now I'm trying to undo that but in I'm trying to undo that now I have to change a ton of the previous code I wrote just because of that one little stupid mistake I made so that's like I have to go everywhere change something go back change again truly sucks but that's my own stupidity I should have known better I knew from the start that was a stupid decision to make but I made it anyways I made it anyways really not my brightest moment Uh, let's maybe just go here and uh, what I do to create a random ID again Did I do that here? Ah yes, just UUID v4 UUID v4 And now it is not imported anymore. Of course it is not imported anymore. Why would it be imported? Just undo that There we go problem solved But yeah, I think I'm going to maybe jump off in a while, or in a short while. Not a short while, maybe I'll still give it a, a couple of minutes. Just work on some of this. Now that I've remembered what is wrong, I might actually still work on this tomorrow. I might actually start working on it tomorrow. <laughs> I just don't like, it's, it's too much effort. Too much unnecessary effort. One simple decision that always makes me angry. I did not mean to close that. Can I reopen you? No, I can't. That's fine. Uh, oh, that's Git. Never mind. Uh, file open recent, maybe? Yes, here we go. Oh, that's just projects. Never mind. It says a file. Why are you going to give me a project? It's fine. Uh, where were we? We were at... Which one is this one? What are we doing here? We're getting the day. Okay, no, we're not here. I wonder if it was the one I just closed where we're at. Yeah, it was the one we just closed. Uh, which one was that? No, this one. Yes, maybe. No. Oh, yeah, it is this one. This is the one. Because here we have underscore ID. Okay, now I am going to take a look at when we go to project status, status, and we go to the update. So status here, and we go take a look at post request. It's going to request this, and we're going to see data here flowing all the way down. And it's going to add it to the project. As this hasn't been updated either. Okay, good to know, good to know. I then I can maybe create a create endpoint here as well. But I wonder if that's really necessary to have a create endpoint when you could just have a post, you know, request, which will automatically mean create. I don't think it's necessary. I think we can just, you know, copy this. 
go here. This is also a stupid decision and I'm thinking about it. Doing what I'm going to do right now. Project, nope. It's this one here. Project post request. Yeah, this is going to be a very stupid decision as well. Because whenever something changes, I'm going to have to go and come back here. And update it. And fix it. Uh, projects create post request body model. Yeah, I don't think we need, I think we can just do this. It will automatically know it means create because it's a post request. Okay, now we can just take a look at how this actual project status model looks. So you have project ID, you have the title, order index, and create that. We only need these. We only need them. We don't need the rest. This we can import from MongoDB. Okay, that's all we need. We just need the order index, which we might not even need, to be honest. We can assume the order index by getting the amount of values or the amount of statuses that they already are. So unless, no, but for future development, having that there might actually benefit us. Yeah, for future development, let's keep that there. Then we have title and project ID. Actually, let's remove it for now. I'll add it in the future in case we use it. Right now, we just need a project ID and a title, and it will automatically append it to the end. So here, we don't need that. We don't need, nope, we don't need that, and we don't need that. Why are we getting an error? What are we missing? It's not assignable to type. Data does not exist. Data does not exist. Oh. I guess, yeah, I guess you're right. Makes sense that data doesn't exist, of course. Because if it did exist, there would be no point of it. But see here, wait, wait, that's a get response. Or a response. But this is a response, isn't it? A request? This one is a request. Request should go under request. Response goes under responses so I don't get confused. Yes, okay. That's fixed, that's fine. Oh, but this one also needs data. Yeah, because if anyone wants you to add anything else other than data, would I really need to? Uh, let's keep it like that anyways. I think if I ever need to, then I have that flexibility. Then I don't have to change a ton of things. But see, it doesn't matter. It does. It, this doesn't matter. If we add data here, it doesn't matter. <laughs> data only matters on get request. It doesn't matter on post request. Because, yeah, well, what, are, what else are we going to put there except for data? Yeah, so it doesn't really matter then. Okay, cool. We have that. Then we have the update. We're going to send this data there. Or well, we don't have the update. We have the new thing. Check if that worked. There we go. Added. Then here we have statuses.push. So now I can just go, instead of that, we set set project statuses and we say ps for project status uh, ps and we can just spread it dot 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 and we can add the new project which would be added here we get new status where's new status coming from where did it come from New status. Oh, we okay, but it returns new status if I'm not mistaken, or it should be returning the new status. Should it? It should. It should. Uh, where is that request itself? Yeah, TypeScript is much better than JavaScript. Like, I would not be able to go without TypeScript. I've become too addicted to it. Oh gosh, I made a wrong search there. It's just too nice now. And here, single project. Okay, so it returns a whole project. Oh yeah, because it wasn't updated yet. Of course it wasn't updated. <laughs> I have to change literally everything. Oh my word. That was such a stupid mistake of me to make. Literally every single request needs to have a change. Uh, okay, so we still get the project ID. We get the data, but the data is no longer like this. The data is now like this. No, it's not this. Single project, no. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 that's completely not right. There should be project status says single project status. Maybe it should be single project. Project status says get response. No, I think it should be, yeah. I should fix this. I should fix this naming conventions. All of this is because of that one stupid mistake. Ah, I hate it. But lesson learned, I won't do that again. Hopefully. Okay, we put you there. And then we import you instead. Okay, that's fine. Then we go, we can stop you from running. You're not gonna be doing anything at the moment. What are you doing? Let me just save you, that's fine. Uh, where's that request? Here we go, we put that there. We import that. We don't have a data. We have a project ID and a title. We don't need to pass in a project ID. That's right. The project ID is in a query itself. I should also document this. <laughs> I should do all of that. Before I, like once I finish this whole thing, the next thing I'm going to do before I fix that whole issue with uh, like seamless updating, before I do that, I'm going to document my code. Document it perfectly. So I, next time, I come back on here, there won't be this whole confusion situation. It will be simple. We remove that, we don't need that. And that means we don't need you from there. We just need a title. Here we don't need you. And yeah, cool. That means when we go here, we can just check if there's a title. If there is no title, title mm, but see there might be more things that come from oh that's why we use data because we don't pass no nah, but it, it doesn't matter it that doesn't matter at all to be honest yeah no nothing that matters title not provided that's fine project id uh, if it's not a string again valid id user we make sure the user exists update data project status model and this is creating a new model so this post handler is creating. We're not updating here, we're creating. Wait, but if this is in a post, why is there an update function here? I must have been high or something. It's a push request, not a put request. Okay, um, fine. What, okay. Uh, I'm anyways gonna change this, so status. Project status collection dot insert one and here we just go like this i'm not gonna code today i think <laughs> ah yes it went from i'm not gonna code today to i'm coding today <laughs> order index as so the order index we're currently gonna get from uh, the existing statuses. Maybe I should pass an order index. I don't think it matters. Yes, it is like a game, a very, very damn hard game. <laughs> Not everyone has the guts to play this game. Title, and this would be, yeah, just title. We are good with that. And underscore ID. And we need to pass an ID. Uh, here we can maybe use check string empty title there we go instead of yeah so if the string is empty for that and it will be safer speaking of string empty uh, package.json yeah i think that's a new one let me just quickly go check uh, js dash utils just to make sure i have the latest uh, features before i try and use things i don't have uh, ah, it's because I have so many projects that use this now that sometimes I forget which projects has them. You just paste that there and we're good to go. Next time I install, I'll have all of the latest stuff. Right, so then here we can just go colon new object ID project ID. And then we're just missing order index. Hmm. 
<laughs> Let's watch you while you brute force finishes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, so I think getting like the count shouldn't be that diff or shouldn't be like uh, in the resource intensive or anything. Uh, proj count is equal to a weight, of course. Dot find dot count. Count is not allowed anymore. What do you want me to use then? Uh, deprecated use collection of estimated document count or count documents. Okay. But I didn't have these options aren't here. It's not going to see them. ST. I've done this before. Why? Yes, yeah, so it's dot find dot. Is there a count maybe? No, there's no count. Uh, Where did I do that before? Maybe in like utils request. I just know I did it somewhere. It might have been in like a different, in a different uh, project. Uh, can't you say where? I could, I think, but I didn't. I don't know. That, that, that might be. Hmm. I don't know. That, that, that might be <laughs> what I should do. It just feels wrong. Because here we have count, but it says it's, I should use count documents. But when I do that, it's not going to recognize what that is. Oh, I, you know what? I think dot count ah there we go okay that's why i was thinking like what's going on here and then the filter and we don't need any filter okay that is why dot do we need no you don't need to add anything there this should give me a number yes then order index should be that if i'm not mistaken let me just make sure what was it before i messed it up Yes, it's that. Cool. Intense. Uh, by the way, visit Hacker One. You're gonna find a lot of stuff. Let's see. Hacker One. That's kind of what I want to do in the future too. Poggers. Nice. Yeah, like security researchers does does like sound pretty neat, but it also sounds kind of boring. I remember when I was like doing a little bit of hacking, when I was just trying to get into it, so much theory you have to learn. That. Like that's the most boring part about programming is the theory. And now it's, with, if you want to do hacking, you need to know so much theory. Ugh. And you need to do like a ton of research and nah, you know, that, that ain't me. Yeah, yeah, like there's a ton of things you need to know, like not just like the software you're going to use, like Netstat or and things like that. You're going to have to like know how things work, like how um, I think how networks work. And it's, it's a lot of things you have to learn. Uh, I think I was it on. I should have it here, some sort of hacking. Not hacker rank. Yeah, here's hacking. Yes, I think it was try hack me. Or over, was it over? No, it was probably try hack me. I think it was from here where I was like learning hacking. Yes, I think it's this one. There is so much, like the things I knew was like super fast because like Linux, I already knew that. So I like, went through it like that, but there's so much. And that just like made me go, no, thank you. <laughs> I just looked at that and I was like, no. Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah, the the theory part is the, just it just really sucks. Eh, should I do anything after insert? No, I don't think so. Just the wait, and then we get insert one result, meaning I should just be able to uh, dot acknowledge. Yes. Okay. 
So I'm not going to get the whole thing back. I'm just going to get like, not what I want. Status dot, and we have the inserted ID. So at least I can query it. Uh, const uh, new status equals as uh, a wait, a uh, wait project status collection dot find one because we need to find the one that we have here dot yeah then we're gonna need that and this probably needs to be an object id yeah it's probably gonna return a string new object id and we just pass in this and we're good to go then here we just say the return that it or the thing that should return is this new status. Uh, maybe it's time to drop out of uni. <laughs> you know, like after that thing we worked on, like together, and then what we got, or like what you got, like nah. You know, maybe it might be the better choice. No, I'm just kidding. Then drop out. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, also, if you like, if you want to like get into hacking, uh, one thing I used, uh, we actually did a, did a live stream on it a while back, is that also Hacker Rank. Uh, that is also another one that has a little bit of hacking in it. Uh, but another thing is this over the wire war games. It, it basically teaches you like the Linux variant, like once you get into a system, uh, how do you crack it basically? So you have like these levels, and each level gets more and more difficult. So the first one would be super simple. It, you know, they teach you like how to get into the system. And then once you're here, it's basically the password for next level is stored in a file called readme located in the home directory. Now you SSH into the server, which uh, they'll teach you, I think. And then to find a password, you need to basically read it. And you can use like LS, CD, cat. And here like gives you things you can use. And if you click on it, I think it takes you to the documentation. Yes, of how it's used. So like level one is like super simple, but once you get to like level 33, it is like after all this git stuff, it's time to, for another escape. Good luck. Like, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Let uh, me just go here. There is an hour of git. I don't know what that is. A password next level is stored in a readme in the home directory. Unfortunately, someone has modified the password C to log out when you log in with SSH. And now you need to try and log in with SSH, but you can't log in with SSH because you're getting logged out once you're logged in. So, you know, each time it gives you something more difficult to do until, you know, you figure out how to fix it. Uh, isn't uni a scam, lol? <laughs> uh, yeah, like these days it depends on what you want to study. Like, if you want to become a doctor, you know, university is definitely the way to go. But, like, let's say you want to become a web developer. Free code camp, at least in my experience, is all you need. You don't need to go to university for something like that. Or at least that's in my experience. And it seems to be something that most, most programming jobs are starting to also, like, accept. Like, if you don't go to university but you're doing programming, you know, a lot of people accept it now. Yeah, but paper equal job, and job equal money, and money equal ha ha, yes. Yeah, like, like papers definitely help you get a job. Like, if I were to just go up to a random company and tell them, hey, hire me, chances are they would. But, but, but let's say I'm just a random folk that doesn't have a YouTube channel, which got me my job two times, uh, that doesn't have any free code camp on me. And uh, I'm just like this random folk that nobody knows. You know, they're not going to say no, or I'm going to have to go for like 50,000 interviews and hope I make it, you know? So you kind of have to have like something out there to prove you can either do it. So you need to have like other really good project, or you need to have like proof that you know what you're talking about. Like I have a YouTube channel dedicated to teaching others how to code, meaning I know what I'm doing because I'm teaching others how to do it. And that has actually helped me score a job multiple times. That plus I have a project or a couple of projects that sounds incredibly complex when I explain them. 
but in fear or in actuality, they're like super simple and they barely work because most people don't really care to actually go and check if the project works. So yeah, definitely if uh, hack or definitely if like if you want to get a job but you don't have anything on your uh, on your side to help you get that job, like if you don't have a connection, basically you need to have a connection, and that will get you into a job. Like my connection got me my first job, and I basically ensured I have that job after they saw my YouTube channel. So he got me like into the interviews. So you need someone that can basically say, yeah, this guy can get, he's like good, you should definitely take him in. Like uh, I was the connection for my friend, he's now in the same company as me. And yeah, so he got a year contract, he didn't have to go through like any sort of interview or anything like that as far as I know. Uh, Lee was lucky enough to just be able to get in. So if you have like a connection that you can use, then that's very useful. But if you don't have like a connection or something like that, then you know having a university degree can help. Uh, let's see here. What's the chat saying? I was like rambling here. The thing is, I don't know how these things are. Yeah, it is like I said. You know, if you have a connection, you don't have to worry. You know, you just kind of have to study on your own time. You know, study what you want on your own time. Like with university, they teach you Java. Chances are you're not going to get a job in Java. Because not, not that you're not good in it. It's just you're probably not going to want to get a job in Java. Because Java sucks. <laughs> uh, nobody wants to do that anymore as far as I know. And that is why Java is slowly but surely declining in popularity. It's now basically just used for legacy code. Most companies uh, don't even start projects of Java anymore. They choose something newer, something uh, with bit more people out there usually javascript these days but uh yeah java i don't know i don't think a lot of companies start with that anymore or like start new projects with it anymore there are still some don't get me wrong but i think a lot of companies are just keeping their existing code base up with it so something like that should be actually taken out of university and instead of teaching you java they should teach you kotlin or uh, better javascript or something more modern that more companies would want you to know. All right, let's see what's up next. Uh, I'll make money every day. I don't have a diploma. You don't need a diploma. All you need is to study and practice like a freak. Yes, exactly. Study and practice like a freak. Uh, because uh, to me, at least, uh, web development is like the easiest way out. If you want to basically, you give yourself a year, you do free code. You learn React, TypeScript, uh, all the JavaScript stuff. It then usually their certificate is also good enough to get your job a lot of times. And because I know that also helped when I was uh, getting my very first job. Like my connection got me into it, into the interview. But in that, along with my YouTube channel, basically ensured that I'll be staying at that job for a long time. And I did. Until I got a better offer, of course. Uh, let's see here. Like it's someone who never, uh, I'm just reading wrong here. Uh, like it's someone who never knew what, what Python is, but now know what the command will do instantly is uh, the moment. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm getting tired. So I'm like reading really badly here. Uh, they get their hands on it. Yeah, but if uh, uh, where where was it now the chat I just moved. Uh, uh, yeah, but if I don't know how am I become a uh, YouTuber? Damn. <laughs> yeah, like uh, it depends, you know. Like uh, you going to uni isn't a bad decision, you know. Uh, I think if you decide to go there, that is up to you. My family at least couldn't afford to get me in there, you know, so I'm going to have to like sit with debt for like years to come if I would have gone to university. And uh, my family kind of also needed me to get into a job very quickly. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't going to work for me. But for others, if you have the time and you have the money, you know, go for it because it, it can't hurt. It can only help, you know, if there's no con to it, then there's no reason not to do it. You know, ex you know, except for like the the fact that it's it's a little expensive for what you get. Though I feel uh, because at least here in South Africa, it's really expensive as well. Actually, I think there's a couple of cheap ones here, though, and even some that I think are free, but I'm not really sure. 
I also think there's a free coding university. My friend uh, once signed up for it. Was the Code Academy? I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I know my friend once signed up for it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's this one. Um, but yeah, it was also like a, a. It was a university, but it was completely free, and it was for programming, so teaching how to code. Uh, really impressive. I also wanted to sign up for it, but then I got my job, so I don't need to anymore. Uh, anyhow, let's see here. Uh, what's happening here? New status. So that or null. Yeah. If not, new status. Should I throw an error or should I just return but a potential null? Drink a little bit of water here. <sighs> Much better. Mm. You know what? I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, not the stream, but just the coding part. My brain is dying. I can barely read sentences at this point. I'm going to end the coding here. I'm, I'm, I think I'm still going to stream a little bit. Just not code. <laughs> Uh, I think a more accurate way to explain the current situation is, uh, I mean, is that I want to learn cybersecurity at uh, full as full time. However, I need to pass diploma to get into that stage. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I don't think there's anything bad about it, you know. Like some people are like really against, completely against studying, and. Personally, I don't see a reason about it, you know? Like, I know a lot of people that are, like, super against studying. They think it's stupid and it's a scam and whatnot. Uh, personally, uh, if it only benefits you, if you can do it and it only benefits you, I don't see a reason not to. Uh, to me, it's not a scam. It's great. To each your own, you know? If I could have gone studying, I would have. As simple as. Because it sounds fun, you know? Uh, going to university, you know? being there around people of similar minds. Because when you don't go there, you kind of have to hope that your existing friends will be there for you, you know? But not all of your existing friends, like in your programming class, is going to remember you uh, two years down the line, you know? So then you kind of become like that one coding guy, but you don't really have a lot of coding friends around you. Uh, on another note, I too would prefer to start earning money without going through university. However, being this balls deep into it, it's kind of very hard to do something about. Yes, exactly. And once you like start university, dropping out, you know, that's like kind of difficult. You know, not really something a lot of people want to do. Because I think it also kind of like leaves an, a, like a negative image. Like you couldn't finish university. Like, like I think people think that. I wouldn't know. Um, I don't think it at least. But I think people probably think that when you drop out, they think, oh, a dropout. Couldn't even finish university. What a fool, you know? At least I, don't, I think uh, someone who like hires might think. Like, I just hope you're not downloading. Stop downloading if you are. You're gonna steal my bandwidth, guy. Uh, let's see here. Oh, enough coding for today. Yeah, definitely. I might code a little bit tomorrow again. Maybe maybe I will stream tomorrow, but there is some load chilling tomorrow, so maybe not. It depends on how free I am. I might not be free tomorrow. It's, yeah, kind of in the middle there. Hmm. I wonder, maybe you should play a little pool or eraser. You guys want to play multiplayer with me? Because uh, then we can maybe play a little bit of pool among us or eraser. Or if you don't want to play multiplayer, uh, we can go and play a little bit of uh, Oblivion together. Or I will play it and you guys can like watch or something. It uh, depends. Want to play together or not? It's up to you. I shall be watching the chat. Uh, it's not difficult per se. 
but it's almost like quitting your job. Sure, you can leave it, but then how do you prepare for the next job slash thing that you're going to do? Yeah, see, that actually makes, that's a very good way or a very smart way of saying it. Crunker. Where have I heard that? Crunker. Isn't that like the very small game? Crunker. Like the one that's like super small. I've heard that somewhere. Oh, wait, it's the IO game. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think this should run my system. I'll just go to the website, bro. They don't have to install anything. <laughs> Me versus you. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know about that. <laughs> Maybe we can play together. Like, I'm not really good with FPS, <laughs> but we shall see. Oh, I see you. Uh, I see VR chat. Yeah, uh, well, for once, once I can afford a VR, I shall get one, and then I shall play VR chat. For right now, it's just like in my library, so that now, so I can like remind myself the meaning to my existence. <laughs> I need to have a big anime titties. We need to be, I need to have them in VR. <laughs> I've seen friends play it once, but yeah, that's what it's going. Yeah, like my friends and I used to play this almost every day in school. That's like one of the best parts about IT. It's like my teacher didn't care. Or he did care, but he didn't care like that much because I was one of the... Uh, top students in my class, you know, so if I play the game with the other top students in my class, but we keep our grades, you know, it's not like it's gonna hurt us. So he just kind of left us there. Fun fact, I used to be the worst student in my class, and then it became like one of the best. I'm, I'm very proud of it. It took, it took a really long time to get there. Anyhow. I will send link. Yes, send link. But maybe make it open. Let, let multiple people play and not just us two, though. <laughs> just like host a game for everyone. Otherwise, uh, I'm definitely going to lose. I'm really not a good FPS player. I like to play it, but I always lose. Ah, let's see. Ah, yes, a B. <laughs> I see nothing. I see no link. YouTube is YouTube is censoring you. Oh my word! Or is it maybe on Discord? Yes. So hyperactive, shall you join us in this game? Shall you shoot alongside me, go to war with me? <laughs> ah yes, being silenced by the government. How dare they? I gotta say, like, my country might suck. But the one thing I do like about it is, as far as I know, they're not censoring us. You know, we can tell the government they suck. And it, they didn't care at all. Or, yeah, that, that's the sad part. They don't care. <laughs> but at least we're not being censored. You know, because we could have been a China. But we're not a China. We are a... Uh, maybe like a more American place. Just with not very smart people running the place. <laughs> they're probably not smart enough to censor us. <laughs> A password is stream. Ah, you got things to do. Ah, people to meet. No. No, you don't need to meet people. They are not worth our time, my friend. 
<laughs> you and me, we're brothers. We, we, we only need each other. <laughs> No, don't open in Firefox. Gross. Yeah, I'll copy this. No. Copy link. Stop opening in Firefox. Dude, I've been playing, um, whatchamacallit, uh, The Walking Dead. Like, the game. It's really good. Like, it's really good. Uh, what's happening here? Am I in the game? Okay, maybe just had to load it again. What's happening here? No, my friend. Do not leave. I shall miss you. Have a good time. And thank you, my friend. It's always great having you on the stream. I wonder, is it, am I like at the right, right place? Like, what are you doing, my friend? Should I actually, like, register to play? Maybe I should. Ew. I don't really want to do that. Or maybe their servers are just slow or something. Ah, yes, time to check out Try Hack Me. Good luck, my friend. Enjoy the, the, the reading. The vicious... Amount of reading. <laughs> I wonder, is the servers just slow? Like, what's happening here? Like, maybe just load that again. I wonder what it's doing. Yeah, no, 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 it looks different at least. Maybe, maybe just copy that. Well, let's go server finder. Maybe, maybe open some for Firefox. Maybe, maybe it's a sign. Maybe that is why Firefox continuously opened. It meant I need to use Firefox instead. Okay, let's maybe close this one then. Let's try now. Okay, something's happening. Or maybe not. Uh, I accept. I just probably signed off my soul. Tell them when I die, they will, they are allowed to like s sacrifice me to Oblong or whatever. My God, they're worshiping. <laughs> Man, what's up? Why aren't you working? Maybe it's because I'm streaming. Maybe the my bandwidth is a little low. No. That sucks. Man, I think that then probably means we can't play. Like, you're still connected, right? Yeah, to the faster one as well. Damn. Well, got any other games in mind? Because <laughs> I think it wants to log me in here, but it's just loading. So I think it might be because OBS is like streaming here in the back. Yeah, I think we're probably not going to have to, like, play something else until further notice. Or maybe after stream, I'll see if it was the Wi-Fi. If it wasn't, or not the Wi-Fi, if it was the streaming software. If it was the streaming software, then at least we know. If it wasn't, I'll try and fix it. But, yeah. Yeah, well... Maybe next time. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll, after the stream, I'll check up what's, what's wrong. I might even actually install, oh, but it's Windows, and you know, I might get kicked, like, anti, like, if it has any, like, anti-cheat, I might get kicked. Yeah. Man, okay. I think that means no, no crunker. 
Yes, I'll just check that out later. Sorry, my friend. Would have been fun. A Roblox. I do. We can play Roblox. Oh, wait, wait. No, I'm on Linux. Sorry, can't play Roblox. Doesn't have a Linux launcher that works on my system. Yeah, I forgot. You used to be able to like play Roblox in your browser, but uh, they too, they removed that feature, it seems. So now you do need the launchers. So I need to be on Windows to be able to play it. That's also why the Roblox tutorials have been taking so long to be released, because I need to be on Windows to film them, and Windows is such a pain. Yeah. Okay, we will see you play then. Uh, so, no, so no multiplayer. Play a horror game. Okay, uh, I want to hear you scream. Oof. Okay, then, oh wait, but I'm going to install a horror game, but that's also going to, like, remove my bandwidth. Unfortunately, actually, you know what? Next time I stream, let me do a full game stream. Let me do a completely full game stream. So send me a couple of games. Uh, let me actually create a new channel here. Uh, text channel uh, live. Okay, so in live, a yeah, great channel. Send me a bunch of games you want me. So in, in the next stream, I'm going to play games. So then uh, send me a bunch of games. Then I'll install them before I stream so it doesn't need to use my stream bandwidth. And uh, yeah, so like send me a couple of horror games, uh, multiplayer games, whatnot. No, the only games I have installed are Among Us, Fallout Shelter, uh, Rapture, Red Eclipse. If you want to play FPS, Red Eclipse is a uh, multiplayer. Uh, Eraser, Pool 2D, uh, Rapture is also multiplayer. Uh, SAS, but I don't really like SAS. That's a very boring game. And then Oblivion. And then it's just the Naruto games installing. Ah, uh, yes. E. <laughs> uh, I would like you to open up in Steam. Can I just paste the URL in here and it will take me to the right place? If I'm lucky. No, okay. I'll just paste in the word then. Oof, I gotta buy it. I'll put that on my wish list. <laughs> that is not too expensive, so I'm probably able to buy it next month. Ah, so it's similar to Left 4 Day 2. That's neat. Uh, add to wish list. There we go. I'm gonna, if you're gonna hear me scream, I'm gonna become popular the way PewDiePie did. <laughs> Playing like these scary horror games. And then next thing you know, I have a hundred million subscribers. Let's see what's happening here. Someone commented. Can you do an Apple version? I have no idea what you're talking about, but most likely not. I do not own Apple project products. Speaking of Apple products, have you guys seen the the VR app as released? I gotta say, it looks better than most of the others, but that's expected from Apple, you know. It looks better. However, the cost, yeah. You know, it doesn't, to me at least, it doesn't justify it. <laughs> Yeah, but that's mo like most things of Apple. You know, you, you almost can't really be surprised about it anymore. Yeah, 
yeah so while we wait for you uh yeah i guess i'll just uh, play pool for now don't update it unless it doesn't use any resources that would be good anyhow i'll play pool for now until further notice until we have come to the decision about what we're actually going to play Let's see, what game is this? Uh, wait, isn't this the one I... Yeah, this is the same one. It's the top one. Maybe I, I clicked the wrong one. No, it's, it looks like the same one. Yeah, I think you sent the same link twice. Let's see here. Well, if anyone wants to join me, I'm in practice lobby number four at number 75. Uh, there we go. Let's see, muck, so this one right here. What's what's happening? Is someone here? Oh, it's a computer, okay. Muck, oh, it's free, that's neat. Uh, muck is a survival roguelike, collect resources, find items, build a base, survive as long as you can. Oh, okay, that sounds neat. Let me, yeah, where's muck, store? Muck. Oh, and it runs on Linux as well. That's neat. At least on Steam, I guess. It's close enough. That's library. Cool. Let's add Muck to new collection. Live stream. There we go. Steam stream. Create collection. There we go. Next time, or after the stream or whatnot, I'll install Mac. Uh, what am I? I am small. Okay, let's see here. No, 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 no. Damn. Oh, it even seems to have like, oh, that's cool. Like almost like a sort of boss fight. It almost reminds me of Block Story. Neat. Cool. That looks pretty neat. I think I think we can play that. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, should have seen this one coming. Potentially, potentially, but I don't think it will make it. Yo! <laughs> it did. Of course it did. I'm like the, the most proest of pro players. Of course it made it. Uh, everyone's paired music is so weird. Like my neighbors are like playing poker face but in Afrikaans. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, let's play a little bit of uh, Leave Room. Uh, yeah, let's play maybe a bit. Mm. Yeah, why not? What's happening? Why are you validating? What are you doing? It's gonna, is this going to take resources? No, no downloading. No, it's in like 65 megs, that should be fine. No, they don't, don't continue, stop. Of course, of course you must. Hey, what's up? Oh, you downloaded a pool game, okay, let's, let's instead do that. 
If you download a pool game, that's actually better. Uh, library versus pool. Play. Nice. Now we can play pool together. Log in. Alright, so if you want me, I'll be in practice. Room number four. 3D pool. pool. Oh, that's good. There's a 3D one. Yeah. That could be cool. Oh, that's neat. I'll, I'll actually add that one to uh, my library as well. Cool. Okay. Neat. How big is it? 50 megabytes. You know, I could potentially download that. Like, 50 megs is, like, nothing. That I could, like... We can go with, like, 20 seconds or something of, like, low latency. That wouldn't be bad. Anyhow. A library pool to the poolians. Yes, I'm in number four of practice at there's two seventy fives. Oh that's a seventy six, okay. At number seventy five. So I'll be waiting for you. You can just ask to join and I'll say yeah. I actually kinda wanna play number or three D one. Like it didn't look pretty. It didn't look big. Let me click down there and see how big that is. That sounds so cool. Oh, it's only forty-five megs. Yeah, number seventy-five in uh, uh, number four. Like practice the fourth one, the fourth lobby of practice. I'm Netsu. You'll see the South African flag right next to my name. Yeah, which one am I? None. Okay. Like right that. Yeah, so you'll see I'm here. So practice there. And in that, I'm on I'm in 75 or number 75. And it, it is kind of confusing at first. Like when my friend first showed me this game, I was so confused. Like, how the heck do I find him? <laughs> Oof, I'm kind of, I kind of squared myself in here. Oh, it's so close. I just gotta hit it. But now that's an issue. Uh, you don't see 75. Uh, you are in pool 2D, right? Yeah, because see, uh, you'll be greeted by this uh, like lobby window. And then you go to this num practice number here. I mean, do you want do you want to play 3D? Because I that's like 550 megs. I can download that if you want. Now what's this? Oh, I was on the download thing itself. I don't need to create a desktop shortcut. It's like 45 megs. That like that will take like a, not even a freaking a, a minute. Like we can play. Yeah, it's not even that big. It's like 20 megs. Yeah, so let's play 3D. Let's. Uh, I want to play 3D. That's pretty neat. Since you already have it, why not? Wait, oh, it's downloading Naruto. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop doing, stop downloading these. <laughs> cool, yeah, so Pool 3D has been installed. Uh, cool, I'll join you. Pool 3D, play. You can choose a place, like a lobby or uh, whatnot. And I'll just join in with you. That's cool. I didn't know there was a 3D one. 10 out of 10 epic. Yeah, okay, it looks the same. Okay, so, oh, there's a lot more practices here. Cool. Which one are you at? This almost doesn't feel right. 
But yeah, it, it looks different here. Yeah, it, there it says pretty. Yeah, cool. Number 55. Again, but in which practice? Each one of these are their own server. So they're like in the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Because number 55 in the first one would be the same as the one in number two. Kind of like with Genshin Impact or whatnot, where you have like these different servers. And depending on the server you have, you can like start multiple and new games. That's why my live stream felt so off. It's because it's not live anymore. It's behind. They didn't do that. Make sure you're live, my guy. I was like thinking, wow, that's like so far behind. No, it's not. It's literally just... Uh, Let's see, yeah, uh, it's in one of these. You know, each one of these practices here is different. So the first one is not the same as the second one. So are you like in this one where it's like, it says 58? Or you do me like that? Because see, all of these are different servers. They just have the same name. So that is why you, it's like uh, practice, the third practice as an example. When you click on that, then here you'll have a, a couple of boards you can choose from. So in the lobby, you can choose one of these. And then boom, Bob's your uncle. But why is that arm one glowing? Why, why is this one glowing? Like what's happening here? Why are you glowing? Yeah. Yeah, so click on the third practice from the top. And then scroll to the bottom and see 75. You'll see Netsu is there. So the third practice from the top, if you're in the lobby, and in table 75. It is a little confusing. But we're, uh, yeah, there we go. Yes. Yes, let's play. Okay, we're in. Oh, this is so weird. This feels so weird, but I like it. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a new experience to say the least. What is happening? Okay, but how do I pull back? What, 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 what is, oh wait, how to shoot? Uh, hold control, move mouse backwards. The, uh, okay, so, what? Oh, okay. Can I get my cursor or something? Ah, here we go. Okay, cursor. Uh, so here we go. How does it hold control, move mouse backwards, and push mouse forward? Oh, okay. Simple enough. So hold control backwards and boom. Yo, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. That is so confusing, but okay. Cool. Uh, what? I, okay, so I'm big. I got three. I got three of them in. What? No way. Okay. Oh. Oh, this perspective is so confusing. But it, it, it's amazing. Okay, your turn. Good luck. <laughs> oh, 
a whole new perspective. Okay, uh, I am the big circles, meaning the best shot for me would potentially be this one here, if I can get it in right. Uh, yeah, I want to be here. Oh, that feels so weird. Yay! <laughs> okay. And next up. Uh, okay, I'm a little stuck. Cool. <laughs> this game is so confusing, but I love it. Cool, now I think we're friends. I'm really sure. It's very confusing. Yes, we are now friends. Hooray, now when you play, we can play together. I should actually just friend you on Steam as well. <laughs> hey, you got one in. Good job. Neat. And thanks. <laughs> yes, a big brain. <laughs> it, it all comes together in the end. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this was big brain because now I'm stuck. I cannot get to any of my balls without hitting one of yours. Do not use that out of context. <laughs> okay, let me, let me try this. Okay, now we can go to Envo, unfortunately, I think. <laughs> yes, I might have I might have passed grade eight, but mentally, you know, maybe I'm still there. My friend. Do, do you know how to play poo? <laughs> or was this or was this an attempt at murder? Let's let's try to oh wait wait okay here we go. Like I'm thinking maybe maybe I will be able to if I just hit it give it a light hit. Damn, not not good enough. No, <laughs> okay. So the black ball should go in very last. Uh, so the eight. If you shouldn't kick that one in. After that, all you need to do is you need to get. Uh, you're currently the ones with the small circles. So all the small circle ones, you should be able to hit into the holes. And the black one, that is the for very last. Uh, both you and I are allowed to hit it in, but only at the end. So just a, a friendly notice, a warning, if you may. Yeah, so basically you have to like get to number two, four, six, the yellow ball, and five, and the red one ball. But I want the big circles on them, that's mine. So also notice like at the bottom you have like Netsu and Obi. And yeah, you can see like the balls you got in and the balls I got in. Yours will always be the the cut or the ones you the stream is lagging. So can you join voice chat? Yeah sure. Hey, let's see, where is Discord? Shall we go into uh chat chat? We can chat here. I see you're muted, my friend. Ah, okay, okay, cool. Okay, so you just needed me to, okay. So basically, the rules are, uh, the first ball that you hit in, so that's when you just start, uh, that is the ball you're going to. So you have the two types. You have the ones with the big circles and ones with only the small circles. Currently, I'm the ones with the big circles, so I should get the, the ones with the big circles in. Well, so you should get the ones with the small circles in. So you'll notice at the bar down below where it says Obi and Netsu, I see now you hit one of my balls in, so that means it's a foul. Meaning I can like place the ball wherever I want to try and shoot one of my balls in. 
So you should be shooting in either like number two there or uh, that one there. So any of the others here, except for the black one. The black one is the very last ball that should be hit in by the player who has all their balls in. That is basic. So black is the one you should avoid the most until the very end, until all of your balls are in. And currently your balls are the those ones like number five, number one, that ones with basically no big circle on top of them. Whilst mine is this number six here or number nine. <laughs> ah yes, you never knew you had this many balls. <laughs> When they say, that guy's got to have balls, what they mean is this. <laughs> and so, yeah, so now you're getting it. So you try and get all of those ones in, except for black. Uh, let's see, mine is right there. Yo. Almost. No, I got one of yours in. So you see, now that's a foul. Now you can place the ball, or you should be able to place the ball anywhere in the game. Or not. You probably just get two shots. Either or. I have no idea. Uh, I only know the basics. I only know that you should have the balls in with the small circles at currently, and I should be the ones with the big ones. Yeah, my dad used to like drag me out into the bars so we can like have, well, almost. And then it would like make me play these, uh, uh, like, watch my god, pool. Oof, you got me. Uh, let's see. If I, if I hit it on the side, then potentially. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops, but I'm, I think I got it in. Did I get it in? I think I did. Yo. Okay, that means I only need to get a back ball in, and if I get it in, I win. So now you need to try and get all of your balls into their holes. That just sounds so wrong, but yeah. Let's see. Okay, I'll give you a free shot. I'll give you a free shot just so you can learn the basics. But it, it, this only happens once. That should give you a foul and allow you to to place the ball. But man, the 3D perspective makes it so confusing. But it's kind of cool at the same time. Nice. You're almost there. Only four more to go and then it's in the back one left. Let's see, and he shoots. And almost scores. So close. Yeah, anyways, we'll be able to get a black ball in from this angle. So I'll just move him closer. Damn, that was close. Almost. All right, let's see. Nice. Nice. You can do this. I believe in you. Let's see what happens. Ah, very close. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get it in. Maybe, maybe if I, like, 
to the rough death. Is it difficult to like measure strength? Wait, wait, wait. So close. So close. Is it difficult to like measure the strength you're going to hit it with? Man, you almost have purple in. Unfortunately, my friend, the time has come. Fear not. There's always a next time. And this time I think you start. Yeah, you start. So you can have a, a shot at it. Good luck, my friend. Hopefully you can get like free in it as well. Like the first time was this like sad. I don't know how I got like free in at once. Oh, so close. Okay, let's see here. I can take my chance with that one, but I will get it. So I'm probably going to try this one. So if I get this one in, that means this time I will be using the ones with no big circles on them. But only if I get it in. Otherwise, you still have a chance. So currently at the start, if none of us has gotten a ball in, you can choose any sort of ball to shoot in. And the ball you shoot in is the one that you'll be in. Or the color type thing, but not that you will be. Ah, so close. Okay, so you still have open range. You can still shoot any of the balls and try to get any of them in. I can't tell the difference in their size, but yeah, see, the, the, uh, some of them have like these white circles on the top. And then some of them don't have these white circles on the top. The ones that has like the white circles on the top is like the ones that has the circle. Or at least that's what I say. There's not really a size difference. It's just uh, some of them only has like a circle of the number in. Then others have like a circle of the number in. And like a... So it's like striped and filled in a sense. So one has like a stripe and the other doesn't. Now let's see. Can I get any of them in? I might be able to sneak. Oh, I think I got one in. Okay, so... You are the ones without like the big white circle on the top. So you have, uh, you're, you're basically the same types you were last time. <laughs> Almost. Let's see here. I can shoot that. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm a little stuck, so I'm just gonna... Let's see. Oh, gosh. Seems like you're gonna have a, a, a chance. I got a foul. Choose wisely, my friend. I believe in you. <laughs> there wasn't a place where you wanted it to be. Oh, you chose between the two. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> the game scammed you. <laughs> yes. Perfect. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Let's see here. Will I be able to make that? I might. If I'm really, really careful, I might. Heck yeah! Take a look at that. Okay, let's see here what's next. Maybe. Damn, I didn't see that. What both went in. Oh, okay, it was one of mine. Neat. Hmm. 
Nice. Oh, so close. And also, if you're like breaking me in between all of your balls, like you leave me no choice almost. Let's see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like a pool just like brings out the the worst. <laughs> oh, I think you shot one of mine in. No, no, you shot one of yours in. No, no, wait, that was one of mine. Wait, yeah, I think it was one of mine. Ah, oh, sorry, friend. Almost. I'm not gonna be able to get down more without hitting the black ball. So I'm gonna pop. Like, I barely touched that ball, but it, like, just shot the others. Or it shot the other one, like... <sighs> like, I feel like the the physics in this game is a little strange. Wait a minute. Yeah, you got one of yours in. But at what cost? <laughs> you won. Oh, let's see here. I might be able... Okay, it looked way better from the top view, but... Now that I'm taking a look at it from this view, it does not look that great anymore. Oof. Hey, still got it in. <laughs> ah, yes. I got the eye of the tiger, my friend. Okay, but now I'm trapped. No, 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 no. If I got the back ball in right there, I would have lost. But luckily, I did not. <laughs> the black ball is only allowed to go in very last. Oof, my friend. <laughs> ah, you, you were close. I think you'll still probably have a chance. I don't think I'm going to make, make this shot. If I'm lucky, I will. But I don't think so. That's a, that's a tough one. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I was able to make it. <laughs> that was a very difficult shot, not gonna lie. <laughs> yes, getting clapped, my friend. <laughs> right, it seems like... Was it with my luck and just like shooting a bunch of balls in like... Every time. Okay, so basically in this scenario what happened is I shot uh, one or I shot uh, multiple balls in, but they weren't of the same type. So what's happening now is uh, the one that you shoot in or the one that I should sh uh, shoot in, almost four there, uh, will basically be those, you'll see at the top there's like six, seven, and nine. So if I shoot in one without a circle, that means I'll basically have two balls in. Uh, but if I shoot one in with a big circle, that means I'll have one in. I'm going to try for a big circle here because I see an opening. Okay, never mind. I lost the opening. But yeah, so now I can choose off any one of them. And depending... Oh, wait. Okay, so they just gave it to us. Okay, never mind. Ah, yes. Maybe it was because I shot that one first, so my ball touched it first. I have no idea how that happened, but okay. I, I'm not really perfectly knowledge with the rules. I only know the basics. <laughs> oh, almost. Ah, so close, my friend. So close. Let's see. Oof. <laughs> Is all of that for nothing?
Man, we should get VR. Like, imagine pool in VR. That would be kind of neat. About as close to real life as you're going to get if you don't want to go out. <laughs> I think my dad actually got, like, a pool table. But it's, like, in the, one of... I think it's in, like, his storage room or something. Oh, well done. Well done. You got one of yours in. Neat. Oh, but it was a foul. You probably hit one of mine first. Ah, yes. Big brain. You were able to get it in. It was a last resort, but it worked. And that's what mattered. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> and there wasn't even a sound. It was just like a glitch. <laughs> that's what she said. That's actually perfect time. Ah, damn. So close. Let's see. Hmm. I'm a little stuck, so I'm gonna go for that one there. Wait, what happened? Did I, did I get in? Good shot, continue. Yo! Yo, I think I got two in. That's neat. Okay. Okay, I still got it. I still have the power. Okay, so now I have a decision to make. That was like at a perfect position. If I can like potentially get it in, but I won't, I won't get it in. That's the issue. So that one right there, I could potentially get it in. But that one right there, it will most likely result in a foul if I try to go for it. So I think, I think I'm going to try and go for this one. It might be the best decision. Ah, nah. Then it hit close enough to the side. Maybe someday. Yo! Well done! Damn, that was, that was really well done. <laughs> nice. You have the skill. You just need to awaken it. Ah, sorry, my friend. That seems to have been a foul. Let's see. Like, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Yeah, if I put it here... I could potentially... If I hit it really softly... And that was maybe too soft. No, it was too soft! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't have this. Music is going to get me copyrighted. <laughs> so close, my friend. Oof. Okay, uh, I think I can just... Hey, copyright, go brrr, yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this one is Afrikaans. No, this one sounds English. Oof. This is hope for the best. I I just don't want I don't want to get demonetized, my friends. I need the cash. Oh, almost there. Yo, yeah, so close, man. Th this this game is wrecking us. It's breaking up our friendship here. <laughs> It, it shows us the true enemies within ourselves. <laughs> it shows our... It shows our weaknesses. <laughs> our vulnerabilities. Ah, you don't want to go for the black one, my friend. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I guess I win. Sorry, my friend. 
So we play one more game and then uh, I think I'm gonna jump off the stream. I just hope this music isn't too loud on the stream itself. No, it actually doesn't seem like it's that loud. I think it's mainly here, it's my voice. Yes, yes, sweat, get yourself ready, my friend. You're able to do it. Hey, you got one in. Nice job. Nice job. All right. I see their music. They they come in bursts. Now it's soft again. Nice and quiet. Nice. You got a second one in, just like that. Wait, am I on? Okay. I think you... What? Okay. I think... Uh, let's see here. Eh... Oof. I could potentially. If I'm lucky. Let's see. No, there was a ball in the way. It seems like you might stand a chance, my friend. I'm not holding back. So you better watch out. Oh. Yo, it's literally right there. <laughs> so close. <laughs> I'm going to keep that one there. That might be useful later. That was so close. <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah you might actually win this one have you been holding back on me I feel offended <laughs> almost almost but I shall not let you win Let's see. Hmm. I might be able to get that one there far, but that's a little far. No, I can't hit it too hard. Otherwise, it won't shoot in. Oh, wait. There we go. Never mind. <laughs> yes, you're sweating this time. <laughs> you gotta win. <laughs> but shall I let you win? No way. I am the king of pool. Thus, I... Oh gosh, I might have actually just given you a shot. <laughs> oh, luckily not. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, you see it. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going to happen. Well, if that one I actually went in, that would have been epic. But it seems you have given me a chance to still survive. I shall not let this chance go. I thank you. <laughs> yes, a free shot. <laughs> you gave me this, this opportunity. And it shall be your demise. Of course. Epic. <laughs> nice. I don't think you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, you, you. No way. No way. This. This deserves an applause, my friend. Well done. Man, you might actually win me this time. Oh wait. I might actually get two balls in this time. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, I, I wonder. Do you think I'll make it? I think I might. But I gotta hit it like just right. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to make it in. No, almost two. But I'm I'm still gonna make it. Here, there goes the second one. Ah, now now you gotta wake up, my friend. Otherwise. Wait, are we? F oh, wait, yeah, we're we're basically even now. <laughs> the physics of this game. No, no. 
Yo. That, w- that was too close. I almost lost it. <laughs> Damn. I literally saved by, the, by like a hair's amount. Now we should watch out because that ball is really close to the edge. But that also means whoever is the whoever doesn't have any more balls left are going to be able to really win because that's like super easy. Okay. Heck yeah! Oh, my friend. It seems you may not have sweated enough. As. I shall win. No! no damn. Damn it. <laughs> it seems you win. <laughs> Alright, one more game and then, I, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna log off. <laughs> one one final game. That that's no win. We need we need a fair win here. It can't be yes, I shall wait for you. Since th this win cannot be by just that black ball. We need an actual win. <laughs> the plot twist. <laughs> I shall wait for you. No worries. <laughs> Player page. I wonder. I probably can't find on Steam. What's happening? Ah, here we go. We're back. Oh, you're back. Nice. Let's see. Oh, you might have given me a shot. Oh. I think you did. Ah, all according to no. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna make an epic light Yagami moment, but it seems I have failed. Do not hold back on me, friend. I know you can do it. We need a fair win. No black ball shooting thing. That is not a fair win. That is a mistake. Oh, let's see what emojis do they have. Perfect. For the anticipation. The perfect emoji. Wait, we shall. Let's see. How's the stream doing? No one in chat? Unfortunately. Wait, what? What happened? The, uh, I think the time maybe ran out. Or maybe he disconnected. What? What happened? I think the time ran out. That that amount that will explain why this appeared. Oof. Well, I guess I shall then probably log off. What? That sucks. Man. <laughs> Uh, 
30. Interesting. Well, it seems that we have disconnected. Maybe you lost the internet connection. But it is fine, as there's always a next time. I do not mind. We can maybe see if we can stream a little tomorrow. Uh, but I might be busy. We'll see. That was an intense battle. 3D is pretty interesting, I gotta say, compared to 2D. But yeah, I think this is where I then will end it. If the stream has, or if the game is disconnected, then I guess I shall end it here. Maybe we can do continue this. Oh, something's happening live. Oh no, the PC shut down. Damn. No worries, my friend. I think I am gonna head out anyways. Yes, but maybe next time. Yes, thanks, you too. It was actually really fun. Ah, thank you, you too. Always nice chatting. Yes, and I shall see you all again in the next stream. See you later. All right, and until next time. I think the next stream will definitely be uh, more gaming related or more coding. It depends. We'll see. I think gaming because then I can spend a little bit more multiplayer time with you. And we can have more multiplayer games. But yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you all again in the next live stream or next tutorial, whichever comes first.